Hello all you wonderful people out in YouTube land and welcome to the Dollar Store Poor. Thank you so much for joining me. It is a beautiful day to paint. So let's go ahead and get right to it, shall we? So today I'm doing uh, a two color pour on a, uh, an 11 by 14 canvas. Uh, I'm using purple, which has uh, PVA glue as usual and alcohol and gold which has a PVA glue as well but with the gold I'm trying uh, as an additive insect repellent. Uh, I actually did not check to see what's in it but uh, yeah let's we'll see what happens. So I'll start with the gold uh, sorry, purple. Now the cold. Of course, gold and purple should go well together. Purple, of course, is the color of aristocracy, royalty. And gold, of course, is uh, associated with affluence and wealth. And who's going to be richer than, uh, than the royalty? Just getting that all over. Uh, I don't know if this is known or not, but uh, the color purple, it is actually associated with royalty. The reason is when they first discovered how to dye cloth purple, uh, it was a very expensive process. Uh, so much so that only the aristocracy or the wealthy could afford it. Uh, it was uh, harvested from some, some uh, pardon me, snails that they find on the ocean floor. Now, uh, which apparently weren't very common and were very difficult to get. And so that made it a very expensive process. Now, how they got the purple out of the snail, I'm not sure. Um, I can't imagine it would be pleasant for the snail. But uh, at any rate... That made purple the color of the wealthy, of the royalty. They could parade around town in their purple, you know, whatever it is, robes, gowns, capes, what have you. And people would be very impressed because they've never seen that before in clothing. Or any fabric, I guess, really. Almost out of the gold. So as soon as, I, as soon as I get the gold in there, we'll go ahead and swish it around and see what we get. All right, that's it for the gold. Tiny bit of purple left. Just put that aside for now. I'll go ahead and torch that. I don't know if I'm going to get any cells or not uh, with that bug repellent, the insect repellent. Uh, again, I didn't uh, bother checking to see what its ingredients were. But let's just uh, see what we get here. Corners and the edges. Let's 
Just that corner. There's one to go. That last one always takes the longest. Which is understandable, and it's the least amount of paint, so of course it would take a bit longer. Almost there. final corner. All right, so I'm just going to get a bit of paint on my fingers and just do a touch up on the sides like usual. Just make sure to get full coverage. Hmm. Looks like there's a possibility we might get a few small cells. Um, I didn't really know what to expect, as I said, without looking at the ingredients. But I do like how that is looking. I like that color combination. Looks very nice to me. All right, so I think what we'll do is go ahead and just let that sit for a half hour. And we'll come back and we'll take a look and see uh, what's developed. All right, so it's been uh, about half an hour. Um, I don't really see any cell formation, um, but that's all right. I, I didn't really know what to expect. I wasn't necessarily expecting any cell formation, but I do like uh, that color scheme. <clears throat> I do like how that uh, that turned out. All right, so that's going to do it for me. Uh, I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, go ahead and throw a like my way. It'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll be notified when the next video comes out. And I will see all you wonderful people next time.